Now, one thing that I know for sure is that you have a genuine passion for helping people and that you know that your products and your services and some of your programs will provide solutions to help improve other people's lives. But am I correct when I say that something about your marketing just isn't clicking only simply because your ideal prospects are not buying from you? Now, is making a big impact trickier than you would have expected and are you starting to feel discouraged well i hear you and if you're ready to escape the trap of working for money and being your client's slave strap yourself in because inside this video you will find some massive wealth time and leverage shortcuts that are used by some of the most successful coaches consultants and small business owners on the planet now you're going to discover a new model for running your business that's profitable and enjoyable What's up coaches, consultants, and business owners? It's Prosper here with Live Long Digital, the number one digital marketing agency for service-based business owners like yourself. Here, we help you build a business that's profitable and enjoyable. And today, I'm gonna walk you through how to complete an inventory of all the experience and education that you bring to your business and when you can make soup out of the alphabets that follow your name on linkedin you will be able to position brand and market your services so that you create a business that's profitable and enjoyable so the purpose of all of this is so that you really find out what your strengths and weaknesses are and what you like doing the most because your life story and your experience have so much value in the marketplace than you could ever imagine at the moment. Now, before we check out how this all works, be sure to subscribe to the Live Long Digital YouTube channel because you do not want to miss out on any of our amazing strategy videos that will teach you how to make more money with less struggle. So when we start working together, the very first step that we do is find out about you. And in order for us to design a business that works for you and is aligned to who you are, we need to make sure that the authentic marketing that we're going to be putting out there resonates with who you are as a person at your core. And is also, it will be easy for you to actually get out there to create and implement. Now we need to make sure that it represents you. And because as a service professional, in many ways, you are actually selling yourself. It's not about the services or the consulting or the coaching that you're putting out there. People are buying you. What is your experience? What is, what is your method? How are you different from anybody else who has the same alphabet soup uh, title or coaching experience that you might have? All right. So we need to find out about you and what you actually bring to the table because we get paid in direct proportion to the value that we're bringing to the marketplace. Not the books we've read, not the methodologies that we have um, understood or what we have crammed. People buy your experience. What do you know that other people have not gone through, um, you know, in life? And by us figuring this out, it will help us create a unique product, a unique methodology um, that only you uh, can put out there in the marketplace. And once we know and discover what's different about you, it actually makes your marketing a, you know, it makes your marketing authentic. All right. Now this is going to help us how to actually then brand and position you as somebody who's different in the marketplace and somebody who brings a new perspective, new energy and new experiences. And it sets you up much more effectively as an authority because no one 
has gone through what you've gone through. No one has taken the time to learn what you have learned and no one can say it in exactly the same way that you can. You know why? Because your experience is totally different to any other person out there. So there are usually three parts in finding out, um, you know, about you. And in this first section and in this video, I want us to look at what's called the toolbox inventory. Okay. So this is basically the tools that you have. Some of the things you might not even think are important, but as you would notice, your life story and your experience have great and tremendous value to another person who wants to learn so they can be to have a happier existence. Now let's talk about the toolbox inventory. So this is a part of the brand development process where we are looking at exactly what you are bringing to the table, your experience, your promise, what it is that you're actually offering people and eventually who those clients are going to be. And then we're going to be applying the creative process to develop your brand name. Okay. So this is where we take um, an assessment of everything that you bring to your business. So what you want to start by looking at is maybe your story. Okay. And your story encompasses things like your education. So if you have a university degree, what's in it? You know, if you've taken continuing education courses, I want you to list everything here. So this is, you know, your official education, you know, but um, it might also be online courses or any conferences or seminars that you might have done for career improvement. And that also contributes to the knowledge that you bring to the business because people are going to pay you in direct proportion to the value that you are bringing to them. Okay. Now, second of all, I want us to take a look at, um, you know, your life experience, because I kid you not, your life story and your experience have greater importance and market value than you probably ever dreamed. You're here to make a difference in the world. And the best way that you can do this is to package your knowledge and your advice on any topic or in any industry. And in this case, being a consultant in what, whatever you're doing there to help others succeed. You can get paid for sharing your advice and how to information. And in the process, you can build a lucrative business and for you a profoundly meaningful life now one of the things that i find that um you know a lot of people are doing is when they're starting as a service professional it's usually not their first business they usually have worked in a career or in a job before and they've gotten to a stage where in their life they're ready for more freedom and flexibility and by them starting their own business you know, this is how they can be able to do this. Or maybe something has happened in their life that has motivated them to want something else that's different. You know what I mean? And more often, these people are passionate about something and they actually stand for something, all right? People want to know what it is that you stand for. And when they know you can stand, what you stand for, then they know, um, you know, what you can pro come to the table with. Because people like us, you know, do things like this. Okay, so your personal life experience, along with your education and training, is basically going to be what people gravitate towards. For example, I work with a lot of um, wellness coaches, and some of them that I've worked with in the past have actually lost significant amounts of weight or they've changed their mindset and they've decided that's what they're going to devote their coaching practice in helping other people to succeed. And if they have helped people lose weight, that's what they're going to help them with. So your personal life experience and along with your education and training as that wellness coach or that consultant, when we put that together, You've actually found a niche that you can actually help people with. So that's why your life experience is very, very important because it actually shapes now your actual personality. Okay. And this is where we want to capture this because people will now gravitate towards your way of 
um, teaching and your stories. Because if you can justify people's failures, you can encourage their dreams and you confirm their suspicions, and then you ally with their fears, you can actually help people throw rocks at their enemies and actually live a happier existence just simply by you telling your story. Okay, so most of these things, we don't take them uh, seriously because we have gone through them. But if we're going to be teaching somebody else, it will be a lifelong experience. Like, for example, I've got a six year old uh, girl. And when I started my business, um, I was working from home and every single day for me to just break the pattern, I would take my little girl for a walk. Now, why I was doing this is just simply because um, what I realized in the process was what I realized in the process was when I was walking with her and when I was um, uh, taking, um, you know, the breath of fresh air, she would trip on her shoelaces and fall. And the one thing that I did was teach her how to tie her own shoelaces. And in the process, she actually started learning that you know how to do it herself now can you imagine the lifelong process and lifelong education that she would have achieved just simply by following this and by doing this herself okay so what you have learned might be trivial to you but it is a lifelong lesson for those people that are seeking to um, be do and have a happier existence okay now Next is I want you to write down about your why, okay? Why do you do what you do and why? Because your why then becomes your promise. The reason why you do anything is why people then gravitate to, towards you. Because every service professional that I know and I've ever worked with has a reason why they want to be in business and they've got um, into business, not simply just to make money. Yes, obviously we're talking about making a business that's profitable and enjoyable, but that's not the ultimate reason why you would have wanted to start your own business. So I want you to think about the reason why you want this. Okay. And this is really, really important because this is then the motivating factor, the thing that takes you out of bed every single morning so that you can show up for those who you want to serve. And this is going to get us through most of those difficult times, um, you know, when we feel like quitting, okay? Because when you remember what your why is, then you, the how will come to you like a ton of bricks. For example, I started my marketing business because one of the biggest reasons was I wanted to be at home with my kids. Okay, you know, I'd done work in restaurants, I'd worked in call centers and advertising and marketing agencies. And it was, it was, it was so much of a full time job. And where I live is about 40 minutes outside the city. So if I was going to be working in the city, guess what, I wouldn't see my kids that much. And look at what has just happened in the past couple of years where, um, you know, you know, everything was shut and I could not have been able to work, um, you know, in the city if I, if even if I wanted to. So my reason was very simple, was to be able to be working from home so that I can uh, be, do and have whatever I wanted for my kids and I can be there for them and I can actually afford, um, you know, the time and space for, to watch them actually grow. So you might have a similar reason. You know, or yours might be different, but not that different. But whatever your reason might be, it might be for your dog, for your cat, for your mom, for your dad, for your kids, just like I did. I want you to capture it in here as the last part of your toolbox in inventory. And I want you to write about your story. Because when you write your story, you literally take people on a journey. You're showing people that what you're going through or what they have gone through is similar to what you've went through and you transformed and you've got the tools and you got the answer that they're looking for. We need people to understand why you're doing this not only because you're qualified to do it and you've got so much education and life experience, your professional experience and your credentials will show them, but we also need them 
to understand why you're choosing to do this and why it means the world to you that you find time out of your day to constantly show up and help them uh, be, do, and have a happier existence. And people don't care what you know. They care why. They care what you can do for them. And if you can articulate that and showcase to them that you can help them by actually helping them and that you're not just a one-click wonder, you have been through what they are going through. People will start placing themselves in your life story. And guess what happens? They um, will assume that you've got the solution to whatever problems that they might be having. All right. So there may be something in your story that contributes to your branding. And then that is what makes you unique. You know, I had a business uh, back in the time. Um, if you've read any of my materials, you know, in my back in my modeling days, I had a business called Iconic Image Group. Back in the time, it was very difficult for models to get jobs. And I went on and started a, a, a business that would help models secure jobs and for um businesses to contact models so that they can exchange um you know their services and it was directly related to my story and it became part of my brand for a while i even published a book um you know called the online prosperity blueprint so this is why it's very relevant um you know to to do this in your business as much as you think you know it's 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 not important or whatever you've gone through is not important you really need to figure out what your story is, how you went from where you were to where you are now, and how you can make your clients and you know your prospects relate to who you want to, you know, to who you have become. And I want you to spend so much time on this so that you can really capture it in the best way possible. So there you have it, the toolbox inventory. Now it's time for you to grab your toolbox inventory worksheet. I have put it in the links in the email and I want you to fill out your inventory, okay? And please take some time to do this because I want you to think about everything that you bring to the business. Remember, we get paid in direct proportion to the value that we bring to the marketplace. How are you unique? And what difference are you bringing into the world, okay? And it's, it's going to be very important as we move forward in this process because once you complete um, this, we can then move on to the next things and we can start discovering a little bit about you and who you can possibly attract. Because once you know more about yourself, it will be easy for you to be aligned with your ideal audience. And your ideal audience can pick you out in a sea of me too uh, coaches and consultants out there. And it makes your marketing cheaper, it makes you authentic, and people can share your story and spread your message easily, okay? and. If at any time you decide the last thing you want to be doing is tinkering with the marketing of your own business, hey, I'd love to help you do this. And if you're ready to create a predictable, scalable marketing system that generates an abundance of new leads while nurturing them effectively in an automated manner, I want you to click the button in the email so you can schedule a call with me. I will see you on the next side.